Starlight Studios. The Biscuit Brothers presents Moon Biscuits. It was a lovely day in the village. Everyone had their windows open as a gentle breeze swept over the afternoon hills. The postman was out delivering mail to all of the villages. When he got to the Biscuit Brothers Bakery, he noticed that he had a rather special letter for them. Morning, guys! You two must be extra special to have a letter in an envelope like this one. I say, is that for us? Hmm. Let's have a look at it, shall we? George opened the letter and began to read out loud what the letter contained. Dear Biscuit Brothers, hey, that's us. <clears throat> we are writing to you from the space program in Zoom City. Our astronauts have heard all about your delicious biscuits and would like to have some for their next mission to the moon. We hope that you will bake us a special few batches so that we can send them along with the astronauts on their mission. Sincerely, General Gaines. Well, I'll be. The space program, eh? I think this will be the first time anything that we have made will be in space. I'll say. Well, we had better get to it. We don't want to keep the astronauts waiting. So the brothers got right to work making several batches of their delicious biscuits. They used everything in the shop to fill this very special order, and when they were done, they were very tired, but they were still so excited that they could hardly sleep that night. What do you think the spaceship will look like up close? Do you think they will let us see the inside? How fast are you- George! George! We must get some sleep if we want to make it there tomorrow. Now let's have no more questions until morning. All of a sudden, it was quiet in the room. So Henry said, Do you think they will eat the biscuits on the way up or back down? Henry, now you are the one keeping us awake. The brothers finally fell fast asleep, and all throughout the night they dreamed of spaceships and space adventures. The next morning finally came, and the brothers rushed to catch the train to make it all the way to Zoom City so that they could give some of their delicious biscuits to the astronauts. Henry! Have you ever seen such an amazing place as this? No, George. This is simply amazing. After the train arrived at the space program's headquarters, the brothers quickly went inside to give their special delivery. Ah, there you are, boys. And I see you brought some of your delightful smelling packages with you. Uh, yes, sir. We, we have them all here, just like you requested. Uh, General, if it's all right, do you think we might have a tour of the spaceship before the astronauts leave? Why, certainly, boys. Come right this way. General Gaines took the boys into the spaceship and showed them all around. Well, we might as well drop off the biscuits while we're here. Just throw them all in that room over there and we'll skedaddle alone out of here. Just then, the general's phone went off. Uh, I better take this, fellas. I uh, tell you what, just finish loading up and then come on out to the bridge. We'll launch this thing off right. As General Gaines was leaving, the brothers unloaded all of the boxes of biscuits and got ready to leave the spaceship. Wow, this is so exciting! I wonder what it would be like to sit in the pilot's chair. Absolutely not, George. We simply couldn't. Oh, why not? The brothers couldn't believe how many buttons and screens were at the controls. Just then, the crew noticed that there are some known astronauts in the pilot seats. Uh, General, should they be sitting there like that? Ah, oh, shoot, it's fine. So long no one hits this big red button like this. Without thinking, the General pressed the launch button, which in turn blasted the spaceship right off of the launch pad. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that was on me, y'all. <laughs> uh. The brothers had no idea what was going on. I say, George, did you do that? No, Henry, it wasn't me. But I suggest we buckle up, and quickly! The spaceship took off like, um, well, a rocket. And inside were the two unsuspecting brothers who still had no idea what was happening. General Gaines tried contacting them through the ship's radio. Boy! Hey, boy, y'all all right? Well, considering the situation, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Okay, now just listen to me. All you gotta do is hit that big blue button to cancel the mission and the ship will come on back home. The rockets were so loud that George thought the general said the big green button. No, not that one. 
<laughs> well, I guess we'll see you boys tomorrow. You just hit the go to the moon button. Well, nothing we can do now. Just sit tight, and then the spaceship will circle around the moon and come on back on its own. Oh, you've done it now, George. What are we supposed to eat for a whole day while we're trapped in this spaceship? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the general over the noise of the rockets. But hey, why don't we eat the biscuits that we brought for the astronauts to eat? Splendid idea, George. So the brothers got to see all of the wonders of the moon and enjoy delicious biscuits at the same time. When the spaceship finished its course, it landed right back in the same spot they had taken off. The first person they saw when they got off of the ship was General Gaines. Hey boys! <laughs> Gee, I'm mighty sorry I launched you all up into space like that. It was fun, actually, and we got to see the moon up close. Well, alright then, no harm done. But say, we still want to order a few more bats of your delicious biscuits so the real astronauts can go up again next week. What do you say? No problem at all. But perhaps this time you can come and pick them up from us so we don't end up on the moon again? The end. Hello friends. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the alert notification bell so you can always be aware of our latest adventures just like these. See you soon.